Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about Ledger. All over crypto Twitter, people are talking about Ledger and is it still safe to use this wallet as your hardware wallet and to keep it off exchanges. I want to get into that. I want to talk about everything that we're hearing about Ledger and is it still a safe wallet to use. If this is something that interests you, stay tuned till the end and I'll let you know my thoughts. So let's get into it. So before we get into Ledger, I want to talk about the news from last week of Binance leaving Canada. Uh, Binance is a very big exchange, well respected in the crypto space, and them leaving Canada was shocking to me. Um, and it, it's something that we should take note of. And again, it's going to highlight why we need to get our crypto off of these exchanges because you never know what can happen. So they announced last week on their Twitter page, you know, we are announcing that Binance will be joining other prominent crypto businesses and proactively withdrawing from the Canadian marketplace. We would like to thank those regulators who work with us collaboratively to address the needs of Canadian users. So my folks in Canada, you know, I'm sure there's other exchanges. Um, I do know you guys have a Bitcoin ETF, so that's good. Uh, but Binance leaving does sting. And could that mean in the future, you know, with all these regulators coming down on the crypto space, could there be the same fate for Binance US? I'm not trying to spread FUD, but we got to be prepared for it. And the way you prepare for it is getting crypto off of exchanges and putting it on a hardware wallet. And there's other alternatives too. Also, Coinbase and SEC, they're still going toe to toe. As we know, you know, SEC served Coinbase with some paperwork saying, hey, you're in violation of X, Y, and Z. Or basically, it didn't even say that. They just said in the general, you're in violation and you're going to be investigated. And Coinbase is basically saying, hey, what did we do wrong? Tell us what we need to do in order to adhere to your regulations. Nothing. So Coinbase, they said, hey, you know what? We're, we're not going down without a fight. So what they did is they were turned around to file the lawsuit against the SEC saying, hey, we need clarity. You got to tell us what we're doing wrong. And this is how the SEC responds. They say that Coinbase has no right to mandamus which orders a government agency to fulfill certain duties. Perhaps recognizing this, Coinbase instead asserts that this court should compel the commission to act on Coinbase's recently filed rulemaking petition. The SEC wrote in its response, but no statute or regulation requires the commission to take such action on a specific timeline. The SEC in its response suggests that mere months have passed since Coinbase petition was filed and even less time has elapsed since Coinbase supplemented the record. The agency continued that deliberating over the kind of significant changes sought by Coinbase, which could affect both crypto assets and the security markets more generally, takes time. So basically, they're saying that they, you know, they can't make a ruling. They have to take their time in response because obviously it's going to impact the crypto space in its whole, you know, in its entirety. So basically, you know, saying Coinbase is saying that, hey, tell us what you need us to do. SEC says, yeah, you're doing something wrong, but in due time, I'll let you know. And these are the type of games that Gary Gensler has been playing. You know, they did it with uh, Kraken and staking and Kraken. You know, they didn't have the resource. They didn't want to go to litigate it or anything like that. So they just paid the fine. Coinbase is saying, no, not us. And they're taking a stance similar to what Ripple's doing right now. And the case with SEC and Ripple is looking pretty, pretty good. Um, but right now, I digress. Um, but we want to talk about Ledger. But the importance of this is to show that regulation is still cloudy in the U.S., and you see in other parts of the country, Binance already left, um, or Coinbase rather, already left Japan. Um, you have Coinbase going back and forth with SEC right now. SEC's, you know, filing lawsuits left and right. Binance left Canada. We all know after the FTX debacle that Binance has a bullseye on its head from US and, you know, uh, Kevin O'Leary and the likes. And they're trying to come down on Binance and CZ. So right now, the best way to prepare yourself, protect your crypto in case anything happens with these exchanges is to keep it off the exchanges. You purchase it, get it off. And the main topic today is Ledger. What's going on with Ledger? So Ledger, um, I guess they announced a update to their system or their wallet called Ledger Recover. And it's a way that you, according to them, you opt into this option and you can recover your seed phrase should you ever lose it. So the question is, where is it stored? Okay, you can retrieve it from me. A lot of people lose their seed phrases or recovery phrase. How do you get it back? It has to be stored somewhere on the internet. So that is the concern that the seed phrase is being shared over the internet. It could be stored somewhere and it could be hacked. So your crypto is really not safe. Um, and there is some, you know, basically some controversy about it. And Ledger responded saying that it's an opt-in. It's not automatically, it doesn't automatically happen. So your crypto is safe. 
In their official response on Twitter, they say self-custody is the core of our offering and your secret recovery phrase is securely generated on your device. We have no access to it. I'm going to repeat that. They say we have no access to it. This will never change and never is shouted, bolded. We are uncompromising about security. It says Ledger is an optional subscription or Ledger Recovery is an optional subscription for users who want a backup of their secrets recovery phrase. You don't have to use it and can continue managing your recovery phrase yourself if that's why you bought a Ledger. This is not an automatically enabled by any firmware updates. This is your choice. So again, it's an opt-in situation. Trezor, which is a hard, um, hardware wallet competitor. So Trezor, which is a competitor to Ledger, basically they're in the same space, hardware wallets. They went in and chimed in and basically they said, not your keys, not your coins, which is a phrase that we hear all the time. And I also preach that on this channel. They also go on to say that open source security that you can verify. And there, um, I guess their equivalent to ledger recovery is something called a Shamir backup and Shamir backup. They say you can generate multiple unique shares and specify how many of those are needed to recover your funds. Shamir Backup eliminates the risk of loss of your backup, all under your control and only yours. That's kind of like a dig to Ledger. So if you're uneasy about Ledger, you know, there's other options. Uh, there's some web wallets out there. Coinbase has one. Um, I've used that and that seems pretty good. MetaMask is out there. Uh, Treasure, like we just talked about. Atomic Wallet, and they have great staking rewards on those wallets and that wallet as well. Um, and these other ones that you see here. So, you know, if you're if you feel uneasy about Ledger, um, you know, there's other options as well as a trust wallet. I have that one as well. They're all very easy to use um, and they're pretty safe. So the way I feel. So is Ledger still safe? In my opinion, yes. According to Ledger, it's an opt in. It's not an automatically firmware update. It's not included in that. So you have to basically go in there and say that's an option that you want. If you're someone who, you know, scared of losing your seed phrase or recovery phrase and that's something that you want to try then that's on you. Uh, but I still think Ledger is safe. Um, and again, you know, I also say, you know, if don't keep all your eggs in one basket. So I have multiple wallets um, and, you know, different wallets serve different purposes. And, you know, previous slide, I showed you what different options since are, you know, you can have a web wallet, hardware wallet, there's different options. So if you're uneasy about Ledger, don't use it. But in my opinion, yes, I think it's still safe. Um, so that's the video today. I just want to do a quick one. It's been a while since I put something out. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the content. If so, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on Ledger. Until next time, see ya.